Okay, guys, welcome back. I haven't played this world in a little while. I know I did a tour of the uh, new base last time. My screen is a little dark for me. I'm in bat mode. Let me uh, get out of bat mode so I can be tall enough. Whoops. What did I do? Apparently I teleported myself. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Alrighty then. Good to know. Oops, that's not the right... Okay. I have not played this in a little while, guys, so I'm having to relearn the uh, the things. There. Apparently I can teleport myself. That's, uh, that's new. Um, I have not yet cleared this out. I do need to clear this hallway, make it taller. I started to. I started to play with... Uh, you can see I just started. Um, cleaned out a row down to that far. Hadn't decided yet what the interior is going to look like in this whole hallway. Not even sure really what I'm going to do with it. Excuse me. Um, got my storage area. Whoa. Oh, I was going to say loading problem. Um, got my little storage area over here all set up. Good to go. Got the, let's see, it is just coming into nighttime, so I should probably go upstairs and sleep. Oh, right, I started to build. Oh, that's a light. Durr. That was my tinker's area. And I was building, uh, I was gonna do a kitchen in there, I think, and then I was gonna do a bedroom up in here. And I believe that's where I left off. I had started to clear and um, prepare this area. But my bed is still upstairs, so I'm gonna go do that. Now, I haven't been on this world because I really didn't think... Oops, a little bit of lag there. Um, I didn't think anybody was watching it. I was not getting notifications when people commented, which was odd. I'm not sure what's going on with YouTube, but I notice I'm not getting a lot of the notifications lately. And I am checking my spam folder, so I'm just not sure what's going on there. So, at any rate... Oh... Yeah, back in the B-team world. And the other reason I haven't been playing B-team, guys, is I've joined a Infinity server. And Infinity has some of the same mods. It's got, like, uh, Tinkers and Witchery, which is great. One of my favorite mods. Um, I think I'm going to go out and check on my crops. Do I not have... Come on, lag. Okay, I do not have a bucket of water right now. Bummer. To go get one. Go check the crops. Um, we might go to the nether because I haven't done that yet, I don't think, on camera. But the nether is a dark, dangerous, and insane place, so we'll just have to take it a little bit at a time. Okay, I do have a good wheat crop going on. This is my witch spawner that I haven't done anything with yet. Yeah, I don't feel like farming. <laughs> I'm lazy. That's terrible, but I'm feeling lazy. I'm going to go over and check on my animals. Like I said, it's it's been a little while since I've been in this world. I'm just trying to find a safer way down. Um, I don't know. It's hard to get into this world, guys. Ugh, cars. Sorry for the noise. I am outside. I am coming to you live from my front porch once again. Um, I have put a box around my microphone. I don't know yet how that's going to affect the sound. I'm hoping that it will, uh, actually I might as well harvest some trees while I'm up here. Um, I'm hoping it will help keep the sound from being. Uh, the other day I recorded, um, oh, what day was it? Probably yesterday. I recorded a episode of, why am I doing this with my regular axe? Do I not have a lumber axe yet? I guess I don't. Shoot. I also need to make a knapsack. Um, at any rate, to finish my thought, I keep I do this. I'm sorry, guys. I know I do this all the time. I start a thought, and then I, I get on to something else, and I completely forget what I was talking about. Um, I, I recorded the third episode of the September 2015 uh, Minecraft Hardcore Challenge and for uh, Michael Deering, and it's... Uh, Ocean Monument Assault. We're actually going to go after an Ocean Monument, which is insane. 
I have never successfully defeated an ocean monument. I know people who have. I'm not one of them. Um, <laughs> so we're going to see how that works out. Probably not well. Uh, but at any rate, I was recording that episode, and I sit, I sit out on my porch. This is my office in the summer. I have a huge porch. Is that a witch? That's a witch. Oh, that's one of those ender things. I should kill that. They drop ender pearls. It's a night crawler. Creepy buggers. Sometimes they make weird noises as well. They make ender noises, but... Yeah, you hear it making that hissy noise? Did it drop some? Yay, it did! Ender pearls! Um, anyway, <laughs> that was random. Um, well, where was I? Okay, I was recording the MHC. I sit out here in the summers. I have this huge porch. Um, when my ex still lived here, we this house is 200 years old. We were hit with a tornado in 2001. It dropped a tree on the house, put a pretty good-sized skylight in the roof. It was pretty impressive. Dropped another tree on the garage, completely destroyed the garage. Um, just missed my car. So yeah, it was, it was pretty interesting. I actually saw the tornado, which was terrifying. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, I want to see a tornado, they're awesome. Yeah, okay, I got news for you. They're not awesome, they're freaking terrifying. Um, <laughs> so at any rate, long story short, um, when we rebuilt the house, um, we, we added an upstairs and we decided to... Um, did those? Okay, yeah. They're, they already despawned. I was looking to make sure I got all the saplings. Um, we added a porch on to it, it, for structural reasons. I, I won't even try to explain what a what a nightmare this house can be at times. Um, like I said, it's 200 years old. Nothing straight, plumb, even, square. You know, it's it's just it is what it is. It's an old house. So we decided to put this porch on to kind of cover um, one of the areas that we were having problems with, and that would keep the weather out, and it would also you know add to the the charm, I guess, of the place having this huge wraparound porch like you see down south. So I basically what I have is a 12 foot wide porch that wraps all around one side of my house. And uh, it, it's great. I love it. It's, it's the most beautiful thing in the world. It's also the last project that my ex and I did together. <clears throat> and it's, um, so you know, it's it's got a lot of memories, but it's they're good memories, and there are very few memories of my marriage that are that are really truly good memories. So it's kind of that means a lot to me to sit out here and and just enjoy this space and know how much time and effort that my family and I put into it. I mean, not just me and my ex, but my kids helped. They were old enough by then to uh, to contribute a little bit. <laughs> they were pretty little when the tornado hit us. Um, so yeah. Anyway. I don't want to rattle on too long. I don't, I don't, you know what I need is a timer. I said that yesterday when I was recording my episode too. Yeah. Um, I tend to record these episodes and they turn out to be like hours long and I have to, you know, it'll be like an hour, hour and a half long and I either, I either have to edit the crap out of them and, uh, you know, take it down to, you know, just chop big chunks of the actual video out or, um, oh, I got a fair amount of wood there or break it up into multiple episodes. Okay, I do have some steak. I was going to say, geez, I'm going to starve out here. I have food on me. That's probably sufficient for wood for right now. I'm going to go ahead and throw these back down. Yeah, these flies are dreadful out here. That's the only thing about being outside. The, the insect life is a little bit ridiculous. I'm going to throw down a few few birches. I don't use a ton of birch wood, so I'm not going to get too crazy with it, but... Eh, I'll put that many down. How's that? About five? That's probably plenty. And I can always use the saplings, too, for uh, witchery, when I get into witchery. Ouch! Sorry, that was me. I bumped the table. I had a fly on my arm. Went to brush it off, banged the table with my elbow. Because I'm just that good. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, 
Yeah, witchery isn't quite as much fun when you're not on a server and you don't really have anybody to, to prank or to help or to do any, you know, to play the spells on. A lot of the spells are really uh, more suited to multiplayer. But I can do quite a lot of automation, so that's why I'm planting rubber trees, because the rubber is used to make um, a lot of the automations. Jeez, there's even more saplings down here. So I'm throwing down a bunch of rubber trees. The only thing I don't like about the rubber trees is they do drop uh, jungle wood, which I'm not terribly fond of. I could probably do one or two more. It can be pretty in some cases, but I'm just I'm just not a big fan of jungle wood. So at any rate. So I, st I told you all about my porch and how I sit out here on my porch. Um, the whole point of that was that uh, yesterday when I recorded my derpy episode, episode of derpiness, um, the third episode of the MHC for this month, I discovered that sitting out here, even though there's a very, very mild breeze, it did cause some uh, noise in the recording. Okay, is there anything else I should clean out of my inventory? I don't think so for right now. There's so many little things I need to do. I am going to leave the uh, farming stuff up there, but everything else I think I'm going to put down here in my other in my uh, storage area. There's so many things I need to do. I need to like finish this hallway, and make it pretty. I'm still on the fence about whether I'm going to leave that. I think I am, though. I'm going to leave that tunnel because I do go up there to my farms and my animals and so on. Okay, I did put some signs on out here. It's been a while. I haven't played this in quite a bit. Okay, this was nether stuff. So I have been to the nether. I thought I had. Cobble. And these are wooden building things. That's more building things. I can't remember what I have in any of these chests. Okay, that was like seeds and so on. Leftovers. Uh, food. Good to know. I really need... Okay, there's... Wow, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. <laughs> Looks like it was kind of a random chest. Oh, that's alright. It's really under pearl in there. Get out of here, flies. <sighs> White stained clay. Why did I have white stained clay? I must have been collecting it for something. That, see, that's the problem with not playing world in a while. You lose track of what you were doing. There's another. That was sand, dirt, and gravel. That's mining stuff. Okay, I'm going to make this a wood chest. Uh, where's the other? Okay, there we go. good for the moment. Just debating on what I should do. If I should just go exploring, if I should go into the nether. I don't know. Like I said, there's so many things I need to... You know what? I can't see that well. I'm not really keen on... That's what I had the white stained clay for. I was going to use it in this bedroom. Why can't I get in there? What, did, what have I done? I can't see terribly well. What is, wait, what, why, why did I have that there? Anyhow, okay, this is where I actually go in. Okay, I was putting marble down. Ah, uh, that's what the stained clay was for. I was putting one wall, I was doing stained clay. That's why, and I probably intended to do a couple of walls of it. And then I have to do something over here. So I still haven't finished my my story that I started to tell about how I was recording out here. And if I go into the nether, I'm going to get super distracted. So I'm just going to do a little bit of building to end out this episode, guys. I apologize for it being so derpy. Like I said, I haven't been in here in a while. Where did I put that clay? I think I put it over here. Not in that one, though. <laughs> um, leg. Yes, the whole point of the porch story was that uh, I was recording the episode and I did notice that there was a lot of noise from the wind and the cars going by. And even though um, 
even though there really wasn't a huge breeze, it wasn't like it was like super windy or anything, um, I did get quite a bit of wind noise. So today, the whole point of all that was to tell you that today, I, I don't know if you're going to have that problem today. I don't know if I'm going to get the wind noise again. I won't know until I go back and listen to this recording. Um, but in order to combat that, I have put my, whoops, I've put my uh, microphone in a box. <laughs> and it's not quite the, uh, it's not quite the mumbo uh, pillow fort. <laughs> I laugh so hard every time I hear him say that. He builds a pillow fort. He doesn't anymore. He just showed yesterday, uh, or at least I saw it yesterday. A, uh, he put up a, a video of his, his new setup, which, you know, is uh, much nicer. He doesn't have to have a pillow for it now. Which makes me happy because he, you know, sometimes he'd be live streaming and he'd be talking about how hot it was and he would actually sound like he was getting sick from the heat, you know, from sitting in this. He had built like a pillow fort for himself to, uh, oh, my hair skelly, or, uh, yeah, that was totally a skelly. I hear a zombie. Jeez. Um, oh, and I'm out of clay. Shoot. Okay. Well, we could go look for the zombie. He's probably down here in the cave somewhere. Um, of course, I don't have any more of this marble or anything to build with. But I do think this is going to look nice. I'm going to go for kind of a Japanese look. I found some paper wall things that I can use. And I don't, I'm not very good with that kind of stuff, so I'm going to play around a little, little bit and see what I can come up with. So at any rate, um, oh, that was the wooden chest. Let's see. Ouch. Out of here, bugs. So yeah, any, <laughs> I keep getting distracted again. See how I do that? Uh, I don't really have any more marble, do I? I have that one piece. Holy. Like I gotta go mining, but I think it's dark. It is dark. I should bring my bed down here instead of running back and forth. It's kind of silly. Um, oh, Colmay's wandering. So you're right, my microphone is in a box, and I'm hoping that'll improve the sound quality and get rid of the uh, wind noise before I move on to another thought, which is that Colmay, my turtle, is wandering around um, out here. He's, if you hear thumping, that's what that is. I don't know if the mic will pick that up because he's, uh, he's down the other end of the porch. I'm just going to go down here and see what I can find. Uh, yeah, he's down the other end of the porch, and he's just wandering around, being him, being his usual turtley self. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a trip. He really is. He's... I can't remember what was, which, what was where here. Okay, this leads out into the caves, I believe, which is why I had it blocked off. And that's lava out there. Alright, let's see what I'm doing here. Put some cobble in my inventory just to be able to... And now we're going to get the big trucks going by. Yay! Sorry about that, guys. Sorry for the noise. I am outdoors. Um... So yeah, Kalme is, I'm going to grab some iron while I'm right here, just because I can. Um, he's wandering out, okay, that's just tin, that's stone. Volcanic rock. But yeah, the, one of the reasons I'm actually, that I'm out here is that Kalme has decided recently that he is not content to stay in his enclosure. He wants to go cruising all over creation and unfortunately that has meant that several times he has decided to take headers right down my stairs um, which obviously is not a not a healthy way for a turtle to get around that's really a, a bad idea on his part so I've taken to uh, not having him in the house during the day I come out here on the porch with him and we sit and he cruises all over and gets his freedom time, and I can't see very well because of the tilt of my screen. Okay, I think I fixed it. Um, 
Boy, there's nothing in here that's worth seeing, is there? Eesh, nothing much in there. Alright. Marble, there we go. Not sure it's the right kind of marble, but we'll take it. I think it looks close enough to the other that it's not going to be that big a deal. So yeah, Kome wanders around out here and I sit here and do my thing and yeah, we do alright. He seems pretty happy. He's pretty content. is a silly turtle. Kame has been with me for, gosh, a long time. Uh, let's see, my ex took off in 2012. Um, well, he actually left us in 2000, yeah, early 2012 was when he walked out. Our divorce, you know, happened in 2000. Well, at any rate, um, he brought Kome home. Oh, that is cool. I need gold, but I love the gold inside. I love how some of the uh, ores spawn inside the marble. It just looks really cool. Might actually use some of that for decoration at some point. So, at any rate, um, he had actually gone on a hunting trip and way out on the other end of the country. And while he was there, the these turtles, like Kome, the eastern box turtles, were just everywhere. The, the place was like infested with the things. They were just all over the place. And Kome, um, for three nights in a row while they were staying in this hunting lodge, came to the door and was like just bumping along the door trying to come into the lodge. And finally one night my ex opened the door and just let him in because he, he wouldn't go away. And he just cruised around the hunting lodge and, you know, was like hanging out with the guys. Like, hey guys, what's up? You know. And uh, in the end, he when he came home, he just picked him up and brought him home with him. Because he knew I'm, I'm an absolute fanatic for turtles. Always have been. Um, I am a Ninja Turtles fan since I was, since the Mirage comics. If you know anything about Ninja Turtles, you know they originated as a comic book in 1984. And then the cartoon came out in 87, which a lot of comic book fans aren't really super keen on the 80s cartoon because it was so goofy. Um, but it was, you know, it was designed for young kids. It, it wasn't designed to be a rec recreation of the comic books. But then in 2003, a new series was created, and that's probably the one most people are, are familiar with now. Um because that would have been your generation if you're watching this and you're in your, your uh, teens or 20s. Um, and it was much darker, much uh, more dramatic and intense. And that's actually my favorite series because it does follow the comic book stories um, much more closely. It's not perfectly you know, aligned because they were pretty dark. Um, but once upon a time, kids, comic books were for grown-ups. <laughs> But at any rate, I'm a Ninja Turtles fan, and my ex knew this, and he brought Kame home as a, as a gift for me, because we were fighting a lot, and I think it was like a peace offering at the time. So, oh, diamonds, sweet. Always use diamonds. I, I've had a hard time finding them in this. Uh, they're not as common as they are in the other B team. That's tin, but I'll take it. Um, what is that? That's tin, too. Okay. I'll also take the rubies. Believe it or not, I found playing Infinity that the um, other jewels are also useful for making tools and so on. At least until you have your tinker tool. And they're good for armor. They're almost as good as uh, diamonds for armor. So, so yeah, Kome came home in... Uh, I'd have to guess it was 2011, 
2010, 2011, somewhere around there. So he's been with me about five years. Uh, he is just the best. He's he's a trip. I don't approve in general. And I, if I had been there, I would have not allowed my ex to bring him home. I do not approve of taking any wild animal out of its environment. I don't believe that's a smart thing to do normally. Animal, wild animals, even things like turtles or lizards or whatever, they just don't, they don't do well in captivity. They, Kalme is a, a notable exception. He is thriving. I mean, he's doing extremely well. Um, he's very healthy. I've had him to the vet. I do have a good luck, uh, reptile vet locally. Um, I'm very lucky about that, actually. We have a zoo in the area, and this is the same vet that services the zoo. Um, so I, I'm extremely fortunate. We used to have sugar gliders, and uh, they were it was the same vet I used for the sugar gliders. So, I'm, like I said, I'm extremely fortunate that I have a, a really good exotics vet in the area. Now I'm not even sure I did all this digging around. Now I'm not sure how to get out of here. Um, so, yeah. Let's see, I know I was near that black rock. Here, I'll go ahead and get this marble. So yeah, he's thriving. He's doing really, really well, which makes me happy. I love Kalma. He's, he's my buddy. Um, like I said, I, I'm i not thrilled that my ex took him out of his environment, and I, I don't know what, what he was thinking. He's normally more responsible about stuff like that, but like I said, I think it was a matter of he wasn't thinking about the turtle. He was thinking about, you know, just uh, trying to fix <laughs> some of our issues which obviously it didn't didn't work but I appreciate the gesture I appreciate the thought at least you know it was uh, one of the few times he thought of somebody besides himself um, at any rate eh, this is all just I can't actually see what I'm digging right now because again because being outside and there's just enough sun to make it difficult for me to see hmm where is my way back out? Out, out, out. Let's see, that goes down into... Hi, hi there, I'm stuck now, aren't I? Oh, come on, why can't I get up there? Alright, you know what? Let's make this easy. Switch back to bat mode. Not squid mode, that would suck. Seeing how I'm not in the water, squid mode would be like the worst thing in the world right now. Go away, zombie. Nobody likes you. Oh, I hear slime. Yay. Okay, that's not where I want to be. I can't see. I hope I threw down some torches here. A little. <laughs> All right, well, I'll come back when I get out, guys. So I think I'm a little bit lost right now. Okay, found my way out, and I just now remembered that I have the ability to teleport in this, <laughs> in this game. <laughs> oh, goodness, some days, some days it just doesn't pay to play Minecraft. Completely forgot that I have that, that ability to teleport. Um... I am actually going to build something that I don't have yet in this world. I do have it in my other world, if I can remember how to do it, an automatic smelting system. But you know what? I think I'm going to do that in my next episode, guys. I suspect that I've sat here and talked for at least half an hour. Okay, I've got quite a bit of marble. i got one, two, three stacks here. Let me, uh... Ugh, these flies are terrible. Okay, three and a half stacks almost of marble out of that deal. I got some gold, and some iron, a little bit of lead, tin, copper, you know, ouch. Some odds and ends. Um, the other thing I want to do is, uh, actually I'm going to make myself a 
ruby chest plate since I have enough to do that with. Oh, you can't do it in this. Okay, maybe this is different jewels. Alrighty. Um, where was I going with that? Hmm. Anyway. Where my cobble? Do I have cobble? I oh, guess I don't really. I think I was keeping my oars over here anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. am. Um, yeah, I'll do the automatic smelter next time. I do feel like I've talked for quite a bit of time and I don't want to sit here and just talk your ears off. I'm going to build. Actually, maybe I'll put it like right here. I'm going to build an automatic smelter where you just put your stuff in the top chest and it drops down through. I've got one in my uh, craft theory world. Um, hmm, looks like I need more coal. Some bricks. Put that up there. Do I even have more coal out here? Nope. Huh. I don't even know if I have enough coal. I might have to go mining for coal. Oh no, I've got some. Not a ton. Oh yeah, I've got blocks of coal. We're good. We've got this. I wonder what mini coal does. I'll throw it in our furnaces and find out. So. Whoops. Oh, nice. Um. Yeah, I'm going to call it, guys. I feel like I've talked long enough. Um. Throw some ore in there. Yeah, these are cooking up into things. Like I said, I've got a lot of little projects to do. Um, some of them I'll do on camera, some of them I'll do off camera. But we'll, you know, we'll get there. I definitely have a lot of cleaning up to do, a lot of prettying up to do um, in this space. But if you like this video, guys, if you've enjoyed what you've watched, if you have suggestions of things you want to see me do in this world, uh, let me know. You know, and if you guys would like to see a series on the Infinity servers, I feel like I've got the Craft Theory server, the BT, uh, Banished Wing server. I feel like I've got a lot of servers going on right now, so I was reluctant to add another series. I feel like I'm jumping around too much, and I should concentrate on one or two series at a time. Um, but if you guys want to see the Infinity, um, it's very similar to B-Team. I will consider that, and I will also consider... Um, not doing this world but doing the infinity instead because infinity is a more commonly played game so it's up to you guys let me know what you think and um, until then guys be kind to one another it's a big scary world out there and sometimes each other is all we've got so look out for one another and be kind and thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh, let me know by leaving a like or comment and uh, we'll see you next time thanks for watching bye bye